So here we have a new empty uh, print template and we have an attached data mapping configuration which gives us a basis on how data should be formatted. Now, if we take a look at the data model pane, we can see that a couple of the fields are tagged as integers, dates, uh, currencies, so that we can actually use that within the template. So what we're gonna do now is add a couple of these fields directly onto our template to show how variable data works within the Planet Press Connect designer. So first I'll drag the full name field onto the page. And because we're already in preview mode, the data appears directly on the page. In design mode, we see that what actually happens is that there's a placeholder on the page. So the field name surrounded by the at signs and the way that Connect Designer actually adds the real data from the record onto the document in preview mode is through the use of a small text script. Let's go and take a look at it and we can explore exactly what you can do with that. So the text script by default will find text on the page and will replace it with the value of a field. But this script editor has a lot more power, a lot more things you can do with it. Now, first of all, let's do something cool. If you have more than one of the placeholders on your template, all of the instances of that placeholder are changed. So if you have the name appearing a couple of places or a dollar amount or whatever, and you're using it at multiple locations inside your template, it'll automatically replace all of them. The second thing is that you're not forced to only having one field entered here. So let's say that I don't have a full name field, but I do have la first name and last name. What I can do is start by selecting the first name field, adding a space here and then adding a second field I want to add, which is the last name. If I click apply, nothing changes because the result of the first and last name fields are the same as the full name. Let me add something else just to show you. So what we did now is that not only do we have multiple fields, we have them on multiple lines. I separated the first and second line using the BR HTML tag. We'll see all of those later on. And that just creates a line return. Now there's one of the columns here that I haven't told you about, and it is the format column. What this does is that it can modify the way that text or the field is displayed on the page using a limited number of functions depending on the data type that you have. So let's say I want to have the last name in uppercase. You can change the format. And the uppercase function will change the last name into uppercase. Depending on the data type, you'll have different options here. I'll just add another field and show you how that is very useful sometimes. So here I added a date field and on the page it appears as the complete date. It's kind of unformatted. This is the raw data that's directly inside of the database, so inside the record. The format for the uh, dates are related to how that date is shown. So we have the short date, medium date, and long date, which are basically short date is the two uh, number year, medium date is four number year, and long date gives the month as an actual word. Now you may notice that the date appears as French. That's because the system that we're recording this on is actually in French and the locale for the system is in French. How does that help you? 
Well, there's a small option that you will probably find very useful, and it is the locale settings. Let me show you in the edit menu. It's a bit of an unassuming dialogue, but it's pretty powerful. So by default, it uses the system locale. So in my case, can it Canadian French, and it will display any data, currencies, date, or anything that you have in the French locale. But I can also specify which locale I want. So if I put this in English, it displays the date in English. But there's another more interesting option. You can specify which of the fields inside of your record will control how data is shown. So here I have a language field, which is currently as EN, so English. Let's say I have within my records a couple of records that are for French users, and I have text that is either French or English. And within that, I have my date field that appears. Because it uses the language field, which can be FR for French, it will show dates in French for French users and English for English users. Of course, it's not limited to French and English. We actually have a full range of locales available from Japanese to Spanish, from Korean to Portuguese. It seems like a simple function, but it's pretty powerful.